What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are going to be general messages for the star sign of Libra for June 2020, so take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you would like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will correlate to your story because it's specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I have already pulled your cards off camera, so let's get right into it. You got the Empress, the Ace of Wands, and then the Four of Pentacles. Okay. All right, Libra, so the Empress and the Ace of Wands together are some of the best energy in the deck. This is incredibly good energy. The Empress is a mother figure, somebody that is could be a Taurus, could also be an Earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aries. Sorry, I meant to say that mainly she'd probably be an Aries because her counterpart is the Emperor, who is an Aries. But this stands for somebody who could be an Aries or somebody that is just a mother, motherly figure, um, in incredibly divine. She would almost feel like she has an out outside tapped knowledge into the <laughs> into the divine. It kind of feels like she might be otherworldly, like somebody that just doesn't belong in this world. She is somebody that is incredibly divine. She would feel like a goddess. She is somebody that is mothering and um, nurturing. So as uh, the way I like to put this is that when we have the emperor come up, it represents kind of a father figure in the situation where he puts down the rules, he puts up the the, the curfews and all this shit, and he, he says what goes where, and he does all of this leadership where he, he's the one that enforces the rules. She is kind of his counterpart where he does the work, like saying here's what you have to do and here's what you can't do, and she's the one that builds up the people. She is the one that takes them in, nurtures them. That's why I say she's like a mother, but she would be incredibly good, and it would be an amazing start with this kind of person, a mothering figure, and it would be, there was, there's so much untapped potential here. There is a large Large new beginning with this energy so it, it could even be if you're a female having this kind of energy come out for you um, where you have this brand new beginning coming out for you in the way that you view your feminine divine in the way that you are nurturing yourself but for men that are looking at this it could be an actual female that you're requesting for the problem here regardless of your sex is that um, there is some sort of block um, there is some sort of blockage that is still in the way in June it, where you are, it, th there's a situation you have all this newness coming to you. It's going to be an incredibly potent, grand new beginning that is being offered to you, but kind of like the Four of Cups, the Four of Pentacles means, um, means that you are kind of remaining blocked to this situation. I don't see you even, even uh, addressing this person. I don't see you even trying to make the attempt to connect to this person. In general, resources and money are meant to flow um, as prosperity as also, but it, it, everything is meant to ebb and flow. But right now, things are blocked financially, prosperous-wise, where you aren't letting anything in, and you're not even communicating this with the person. Where I feel like you're, this situation is blocked off to you. I feel like you were. I feel like somebody could be making you an offer, and you are just blocked off to it. Um, but I am going to pull clarity for why. Not only why is the Four of, uh, of Pentacles here, why is the Four of Pentacles, why is this blockage here for Libra? I'm not stepping into a calling, you are not heeding a call, you're not letting a situation die, and you're not stepping into the call that would be calling to you right now, and you could recognize it probably, but this is something where that is um, needs a rebirth, something that is, it could be possible that there's a second shot needed with this person, this person wants a second shot, I don't see that this person would be offering anything negative, but I do see you not accepting it, but I judgment here says that there is something here that you could be taking that you are ignoring, and it, it's, you are not taking some sort of risk. You are not letting a situation die, and you're not having this rebirth with inside yourself because you're blocked off to the world. So where does this go after the Four of Pentacles for the star sign of Libra, after this happens with the Four of Pentacles? All right, here's what's going to happen. <laughs> this is very interesting. So you go from this period of, I'm not sure where the connection was. I, I'm not sure how we got from here to here. Um, because you kind of missed a step, but, um, it's kind of like, after you are blocked to this, it's almost like you step in. Oh, God. All right, so it's almost like, I feel you're being called to this. I feel like for the most part of June, you're being pretty blocked to this idea. But I see that after this blockage, I kind of do see you giving in. I kind of do see that the scales are going to be balanced and fair and equal. However, that is, and this deck is kind of reads it very differently, which I'll just I'll get into in a second. But 
I want to express that the Seven of Pentacles is a fair and just balanced card. It represents that there is prosperity. It's, I kind of read this as the welfare card. It's a card about give and take. Um, it's usually... I. I use the analogy that somebody that is on government aid, like unemployment benefits would probably resonate for a lot of you, um, or kind of like food stamps or health insurance, something that comes from somebody else. Um, and it's going to be fair and it's going to be balanced and you are going to be receiving generous help from this person. But I want to tell you the way that my deck reads this, and I am totally getting that fucking energy from this right now, is that I kind of see you being as... I want to say stuck up your nose, but I kind of feel like you are the one in control in the situation, and I kind of feel like you get to decide who gets what in the situation. So if it is a second shot, if it is somebody coming in trying to start something anew that was needed a rebirth in the situation... You're very blocked to it, and you're only going to allow the situation in, and you are going to be fair about the situation. But it's not going... I don't know if it's going to happen at the end of June or after June, because I do see that this isn't going to be like this forever. I do kind of see you being generous with the situation, being fair, where you are going to give somebody help. It could be that somebody is literally asking for your help, but it's going to be something where if they do come in and offer your help, uh, or ask for your help, or they do come in and they are they're trying to communicate with you, I feel like you are going to be kind of like, I'm the better one for letting you back into my life. I'm the better one for allowing this to happen. You have to know that I am the one with the power, even though this is balanced, that I kind of get to control the say and the flow of this. Because that's the kind of energy that's being portrayed to me. It's possible that if that is not your energy, because this is kind of a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, heavily indicated spread with an Earth sign here, um, that you could be the one questing for somebody, and they are remaining blocked off, and they are the one that is going to be snooty. Take that how it resonates. It's usually a flip. Um, um, but one card for, uh, I guess, after, where does this go, just in general, after the Six of Pentacles? Because it, it says that things are going to be prosperous. You get to decide. There's going to be a decision to be made. You're going to have a lot of options on where you can go with the situation with this person. But again, I kind of see you being the one in charge, or this person being the one in charge. I, I feel like it's you. I feel like it's you going to be the one in charge, d deciding who gets who gets what and where and when. But I kind of see it as you deciding if this newness, if this kind of prosperity gets to... Um, come back into your life, or if you get if you decide that you want to open yourself up to it, I kind of feel like you are going to be making it known that you are the macho man in charge. Be careful with that energy because it's not always the best way to do things. Um, be fair and balanced because just because you can be, not because you have um, something over somebody's head. Be generous with other people's feelings, Libra. And if this is somebody else doing this to you, then. You get to decide if that person's energy, the way that they are handling the situation, is something that you need in your life. You know, take care with that energy. It's, it's, there, it is, for those of you that are in a block situation right now, it is going to eventually get better, if not by June, very shortly after June. But it is going to be a situation, it's going to be this kind of situation. So be careful with your energy and how you spend it. All right, Libra, take care. I'll see you next time. Peace out, my moon tribe.